The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Hi, this is Ken Gidge, and this is The Art of Politics, the only show of its type. Why is it the only show of its type? We don't know. It's where a Democrat, myself, the good one, obviously, and a Republican, <laughs> yes. kind of a, uh, all right. Yes, but And so we go back and forth all the time, and Democrats are upset at me because I do a show with Republicans. Republicans love it because they can't get Democrats to go on their shows. Yes, Come yeah. on, Democrats, wake up. My partner in crime is Representative Al Baldassar. Ken, it's always a pleasure. Oh, I know it's not. Ken, how'd you, you do with the polls there? Did you uh, hang out? Or... Well, wait, before yeah. we talk about polls, I went over to put a sign up in somebody's yard, yeah. okay? A beautiful, my sign, and by the way, I've got the only round signs mm -hmm. there are. Right. And what I did was at nighttime, I put in reflective tape. So you go down the road and you see Ken Gidge. Because mm -hmm. that may not get me votes because yeah. it drives people nuts. So I go over to this, this place and it's a beautiful place to put a sign because the poles are right here. They got to make the corner. And so I knock on the door and this lady says, go into the garage. My husband's in the garage. So I go over and I, and I sort of go into the garage and I go, hi, how are you? He says, good. I says, look, last year you let me, you know, two years ago, you let me put a sign up in your yard. I says, can I do it again? Oh, absolutely. Anybody can put a sign up in your yard. He says, do you know, we've been in politics for years. My uncle or my father was the, was, was the, the mayor of Cambridge. And I mean, I said, wow. I said, I do a TV show with a gentleman mm -hmm. named Al Baldassaro and his... And he stops me and he goes, Al, that's my nephew. <laughs> How dare him? Yeah. We've been Democrats our whole entire life, and he's a Republican. You tell him he better become and a you're Democrat. You're talking just the way he you talks. Bet. It's a loud voice. Uh, oh, God, that, well, that, that was funny. That's my Uncle Norman, Baldassau. He lives right here in Nashua. And uh, he is my father's brother. That's right. And, of course, he gets confused. He says that when it's my uncle, but it's actually my grandfather on my mother's side, not my father's side. That That's was the right. mayor of Cambridge, and my uncle was a state representative for Massachusetts. Your so uncle he, who I my, talked to? No, that's no. He was never. That's, okay. No, my my other uncle on my mother's side. My oh, mother's oh brother. okay. All right, okay. No, he's that's my uncle. He's a good guy. Did you tell him to ch tune in and watch a real Republican oh, talk? He, oh, I'll tell you, he was madder than hell about mm -hmm. you. He says, how could he, after all the dumb stuff that the Republicans are doing, how could my nephew, El mm -hmm. Baldassaro, become a Republican? We were with the Kennedys. We were with the, we did this, we did that. He says, oh, you tell him, you mm -hmm. tell him. I said, well, yeah, know, I'll right. tell him. You know, uh, since I was five years old, maybe even younger, sat at a table like this or a picnic table in my grandfather's yard uh, eating spaghetti aiola, you know, and uh, the clams in his olive oil with Tip O'Neill, Ted Kennedy, and other politicians. All my life I've been involved in politics since I was five. And there's a picture. My grandfather has a family picture. That's the way they did it years ago. They would send a family picture with the dog, and it will go to everyone's house there for election time, you know, with the Democrat. But that was when Democrats weren't really digging into your pockets. 
That was when Democrats weren't oh. really with Tip O'Neill, oh. where they were saying, no, I want to see you go to we work. go. Now they it's, went socialism you know, and everything else. What's really interesting when you say that mm -hmm. is when the Democrat took over mm -hmm. the president, that month there were 750,000 jobs lost. Oh, give it a break. The, Here we go again. The, Blame Bush. Uh, well, Blame Bush, he's been gone over five years. Well, it's his fault. You're right. Well, 750,000, mm -hmm. two right. wars, several trillion dollars. Right. Now, the economy is getting better. People are getting How jobs. How is the economy a better one? Uh, the, the cars, the cars, we're selling more cars. Real estate is up. We're 4.2 percent here. The 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 rest of the nation is 6.6.1. By the Wait, way, let's and be honest now, here. Now we're let's, the bad let's, guys. Let's Democrats are bad. Wait, can you give me a chance here? Oh, come Did on you now. watch uh, here recently here in New Hampshire uh, with the uh, jobs? Okay, they're not up. Okay, we're at 4.2. Jobs. But the, what it, I'm trying to tell me, you. 4.2. 4. Yes. The national average is 6.1. I think Our we're doing pretty good here. Our economy is the slowest in New England. Oh. We're behind Vermont you, you, in you Maine. Know, what's interesting? Because of a we're Democrat 4. governor. 4.2. Hey, I bought you a National I, average is 6.1. Can 6. we stop for a second 1, here? Because and you look. You know, that's all you guys want to mm -hmm. do is put down New Hampshire. No, because... That's all you want to do. New Hampshire is a bad place to because live. Because we it's awful. want people working. New I Hampshire rather, should be doing I better. would rather have the sun shining. You, know, you want to walk I, when I came in, in the here, sun with an umbrella. When I came in here today, I seen there was something there. I said, wow, this was the perfect gift for Ken. You know, you know, in the Marine Corps, we have what we call a... Sometimes we call a rock with lips. A what? A rock with lips. That young private that's trying to learn, he keeps running his mouth. He knows everything. Okay. But he's, he's got no ears, no eyes. Okay. He just all keeps right. running his all mouth. Right. All right. So what I wanted to do is, let me see if I got it Gee, here. Am I getting an award? I one? wanted to give you the Rock with Lips award. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay. I get this. This, this is King oh, Did. Oh, yeah. I, I took that out of the bowl over there, by ah. the way. A you rock, took it out and you stole a, it. A rock with lips. Typical. He runs his mouth with no facts. So what? They steal mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> they turn and they say, hey. we want small government. Uh, and mm -hmm. every time a, a Republican says, we want a small government, why is the government in large? You want to because start with spend, Reagan, uh, your mm -hmm. patron saint? Oh, and by the way, and we came in, the deficit wasn't bad. When he left, the deficit was skyrocketed. No, that's not true. That's, that's true. Not true. That's not and true. And you steal the rock? That's, that's not true. Hey, what about foreclosures in New Hampshire? Did you see here recently they're up, foreclosures in New Hampshire? Did, do you track what goes on in New Hampshire since do you worry I about track you know, what goes on, on in Washington? Compared to when are the foreclosures? But there's the for, always foreclosures. No, the foreclosures were stable there, but, but no, they're up. Okay, hold on. Compared there's to where they were before. There's always foreclosures. We know about that but there's for all more. sorts of reasons. There's more than what? There's more than there was there's before. There's more than there, what, than seven years they ago? They started to stable off. Excuse you know, me. There's uh, more than there was in seven years well, ago. no. Listen to what I'm going to oh, tell you. In other words, they like In other this. words, they went down. Now they're going back up. No, 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 no. You don't watch the News, way down. Did you watch WMU? Way Island? down. And that's where they are. No, no, way you're, down. Not, you're not being honest. You're I am being, being honest. The foreclosures are up here in New Hampshire. We have over 300 uh, and something okay. thousand ex people ex that are out of work. We've got a governor. How much? we got much? over 300,000 people we out of work a, here in New we Hampshire. We have 1.3 million right. people. But we have a lot of people out of work. Well, it, let me try this one more time. One more, one more time yes. for you. 4.2. Yes. Here in the state of New right. Hampshire, the national average is 6.1. We're doing pretty they good. They are not do true we numbers. Have, do we, should we do better? Be, yes. Be, can listen, we do better with the Republicans? Well, yeah, that's what we keep no. trying. No. Why do the Democrats, why you can't you be honest on the numbers here? Why can't you be honest and say many people fell off the unemployment rolls there that are out of unemployed? Why oh, can't you be honest wait, and say wait, wait a minute, that the wait, jobs wait. aren't there? Hey, excuse me. And wasn't it the Republicans who went home and instead of advancing 20 extra weeks for people unemployed, do you, do you, do you know, what you guys did you, you was know, cut that off, and then you turn around and you come in here and say, hey, guess what? People are falling off. No, I, it's you, you guys. Do you know help. the 4.2 that where we're at right now in New Hampshire because we just got out of the last year under the O'Brien budget, okay? We gave businesses, we gave budget. businesses, LLCs, he's a tax back. break. He's we, coming back? Yes, he is. I oh. hope he does. Oh. We gave businesses a tax break 
You all try to stop it in January. You try to put a stop to it so they can hire more. You we we want them to hire more people. Business, but we went from fifty thousand to hundred thousand so they can reinvest I in their love businesses. How you say you gave. Under O'Brien leadership, but under the took Republicans, this year, last year. how long did it take us to get up to the very point that you guys basically had screwed the government you know, some, up, screwed the federal government our up? Our government was Our growing. country was going bankrupt. Two wars, two trillion no, no. dollars, and now you're turning around wait, that you're bringing wait, wait. them up? I Can hope we, so. Let's talk about New Hampshire. I hope so. Let's, let's come back to New Hampshire. I am. Okay. Well, when, excuse when me. Lynn federal... Shipola, federal Hurts New Hampshire. When Lynch took over, did he have almost, uh, what, $87 million surplus when Lynch took over? I don't know. You don't know. Okay, yes, he did. Now, over the years, have the Democrat governors depleted the, uh, the surplus? We're down to maybe three, four, maybe five million. I don't know exactly what the number and is. And why did that happen? That happened because they're spending crazy. Oh, oh, wait a minute. They're that, above and beyond their minute. budget. That couldn't have happened because of the recession no. that the Republicans no. caused, no. the federal Republicans caused. Oh, here we Who go again. The federal government. Going bankrupt. Here we go. No, that's right? not true. People losing money. People losing their, their their savings, and then all of a sudden you mm. turn around and you sit here and you go, oh, guess what? Oh, the Democrats are doing a bad job. No, the Democrats are doing a damn why good can, job. Why can't a Democrat ever look in the mirror and say, you know, somehow you're right. Those are facts, and we have to try to fix them. Why can't you just do because that? Because if why can't you, you come would up with solutions? only admit that you guys, the Republican politicians, are the ones who screwed the economy up. If you, know, you would some... only admit that and say, we're trying, we're getting better, things are getting better. But you won't admit things are getting better. No, no, I, because I have Are can. things getting better? Can, no, they're not. No, oh, they're not. I see. 4.2, 6.1. We're not better here in New Hampshire. People in New Hampshire. Yeah, with a lot of people out because now they're on food stamps now. We got more people oh, today and, in New Hampshire on food and stamps. When you in guys, Tana. And when the Republican politicians went on their summer vacation, they had an opportunity to extend 20 weeks for the people who are unemployed, Ext and you didn't. Extend 20 weeks. And to, you okay, didn't. Okay. Extend, extend 20 weeks to the people who have been on it for two years. Okay. When do you eventually say enough is enough? Get out of the taxpayers' well, pockets. Well, you know, that's interesting about that when money. When do you say enough? That goes directly, directly into the economy, the unemployment. But, oh. but now you're saying more people are on food stamps. Yes, here in How New Hampshire, more in Tampa. How people are on food stamps who needed that extra 20 weeks of unemployment insurance money that they basically had earned, and the Republicans said no. How many of those now, people are on food stamps? How many stamps? of those people did we force to go back to work? That you've been on unemployment well, for two wait, years. Wait a minute. It's you guys are saying there are no how, jobs. How many people we did well, force it, a lot to go back to work? Are you saying that there are no jobs no, in the state I, of New I'm Hampshire? I'm saying there are jobs, but they're not paying like oh, they used to. I, but they, you just said not, there were no jobs. But there's not enough to, there's not enough to cover everyone oh, that's I unemployed. See, but, but so... My kids... So there are jobs my in New kids Hampshire. work in Massachusetts. I have another one in Maine working there. Okay? I've got another one working in Chicago. Okay, my son that works in Massachusetts, he's a Marine. They can't find jobs it, it, that pay me. decent it, it, salaries me. in New it, Hampshire. Excuse me, my son is in, in, in uh, China. In China. And I rest and my the case. the only reason why is he's trying to get away from dad. Oh, well, see, not my kids because they call me every other day. They talk to me, dad, yeah. you know, every chance they get, they come excuse home. Me. We go on vacation. We meet in Florida. We meet in other places. Okay, so I'm fortunate. Thank God my kids... They still love, love me. They love yes. me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about loving. How'd you do with the election? The people I did, love you. I was the top vote getter. You were the top actually. vote. What'd you get? Right. 20 votes, 50 votes, 100? How many votes did you get, top uh, vote getter? Excuse me. How many votes did you top in, vote in, get? In our, in our district, in, right. in you, our You have ward, like a block. Okay. There's 5,000. 142 okay. voters. So How many in your block? In my block there, there's about a little over 14, almost 15,000 15, voters. 15,000. Right. Let's see. 5,000, 15,000. Mm -hmm. How many did you get? I got about 1,685 votes. Really? And I you was know, the top vote getter. And I was the top vote getter. Mm -hmm. But if you take the 15,000 and you take the 5,000, my top voting 
per capita. Mm -hmm. I got more votes than you got. Well, not necessarily. Your, your district there, first of all, you got three state reps, you told me, right? Excuse me? You have three state reps. Excuse me. You are cheating. 15,000? Somehow we messed up there by giving Fifth, you three. 15,000? Oh, no, 14,000, okay. a couple hundred. 14,000, you know, yeah. 5,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got more votes than you per capita. Mm -hmm. And by the way, let me, you know, you made, a, you made an interesting point, mm -hmm. all right? We are approximately 1,700, not 1,800 people in our Ward 6 mm -hmm. have a representative, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, 15,000 votes, mm -hmm. correct, uh, divide by seven is what? Well, two. Well, two no. Point seven seven is, yeah, is... uh divide by 15. Two. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even need a piece of paper. One, zero, two point. One. Okay, yeah. you got uh, approximately 2,100 Did you take people. your shoes off to figure that out, or did you do it on your own? 2,100 people, mm -hmm. all right, to our... 1800 mm -hmm. so we actually represent per capita more people than you, no, you represent. Had, what's that like 17 or 16 percent that came out just i think we were like maybe 19 so percent don't came out 20. don't tell me mm -hmm. how good you did okay now let, let's let's talk about the governor's race here you know of course maggie hassan uh, lost big time in my town but anyways she wasn't you know she had a primary with some others she you know i think she got like 400 votes but anyways did she win the primary uh, she she won the primary yeah, in okay. uh, the Democrats, yeah. She will be our but next the thing governor. Is, well, no, I, I hope not, because people need to know the real truth about Maggie Hassan. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Do you tell they the truth about Maggie? The real truth the real about truth. Maggie Hassan. Yes. Why are you the only one who says that she's not giving particular information out? Because, I don't understand you. Because, because Democrats are blinded. You know, they're like, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. They're blinded. They don't want to see, they don't want to hear what's going on in the state. She's refusing to release her numbers, okay, on how much money she spent. We're hearing that she's, Medicaid expansion is costing us money. We got people put going in with a 91A, 91A, which is a constitutional uh, request freedom of information, to try to get this information. Senator Forrester is leading the charge and tweeting out and everything. Go to Senator Forrester's tweets. Look and see how, what day she's on that she's asked the governor, because she's the finance chair for the state, where are we at? What money has been spent in the budget? She is not telling us. You know, I don't, I don't know why you, you're under the impression that it's costing us money to yes. do this. She's, she'll spend right. above and beyond. But yet you, as Republicans, mm -hmm. made it illegal for us to form an insurance exchange. That's right. We don't need one. Why, so, why duplicate the process so when wait, you get Obamacare? Oh, well, hold on a second. Why oh, duplicate oh, oh, no, the process? So an insurance company comes along, mm -hmm. goes to the federal government and says, if they don't want to do it, we'll do it. And the federal government says, okay, because you're from New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. The first thing they do is they cut out 10 hospitals. You know, so hold no, on. No, that's not true. Hold on. That's not true. The insurance let, company in Obamacare let, let did me, that. Let me finish. That's, they yeah. cut out Tell 10, the truth. 10 hospitals. Tell the truth. One hospital here in the city of Nashua. All right? So now it costs the city of Nashua money. Mm -hmm. People have lost their hospitals, that's nothing to do with have Medicaid lost expansion. their doctors because you guys mm -hmm. made it illegal for us to keep. What? To, to start an insurance mm -hmm. exchange? And you want to know something? The Republicans, this is really important, the Republicans federally have gone to court, and what they are trying to do is to take all the deductions away from all the states who are not using the federal insurance exchange. And the Republicans here in the state of New Hampshire took that away from us. So now it's going to cost you mm -hmm. more money right. because of him. Okay. First of all, you either pay us today or you pay us tomorrow. If we put in the Medicaid... So we're going to pay you if, what? Okay, I'm going to tell you, you why. Yeah, give me a chance to explain now, okay, since you ran your mouth there, and which isn't true, and people can check this out themselves. If we put in an exchange here in New Hampshire, it would lead us down the road to a sales tax or a broad-based tax. Really? Because... In three years, is that what you're doing? Is somebody, trying to, are you trying to scare someone them? Someone has me, are to you, pay. Are you trying to scare? Where does the to, money come from? You are trying to scare the individuals. You when all the fact of the lied. matter is that because of what you right. guys did, it's already costing no, no, them money. No, that's not true. Shame on that's, you, that's Republicans. That's not true. Let's be honest here. 
You all. Why? Why do you, you sales all, tax? Who's going to do a sales tax? How do you pay for the Medicaid or the for the um for the insurance with the subsidies? Oh, how do you pay for me, it? Excuse me. How me. does New Hampshire pay for that? Well, that's really simple. The subsidies it's were really federal simple. subsidies because you want to know how, why we can do that? Because you're always in people's pockets. One trillion dollars we're, we're the, not spending for was. It does the, so that money is coming back in. Here we go again. You always want to go into the taxpayer's money. Ah. Okay. When the government say they're going to pay for 90 days, who's the government? Is this the greatest country Wait, in the world? It is the greatest is country greatest in the world. Is this the greatest country in the world? It is the greatest country. So, but don't turn it into so a socialized country. Now, wait a minute. Don't turn this it into a socialized country. In the world, country. Right? The United mm -hmm. States of America. Right. Yes. All right. It can be. Yep. Is it right now? I think it is. So yes. a woman who has a child, mm -hmm. infant mortality with the 19th in the world. In other words, there are 19 places that you can go that infant mortality is better than the than in the United States. And you mm -hmm. want to know what 19 is? We're 20. You want to know what 19 is? What is 19? Cuba. Mm -hmm. Cuba. Mm -hmm. A socialist country. But we're the best country in the world. we got the best medicine. And yet the women in this country and the children in this country will die more mm -hmm. than in Cuba. Let me ask you Does something. that make any sense? Do those do those other countries? We that's don't not need true. insurance. Do those other countries? It's not that we don't, we need, don't insurance. need insurance. Yeah, but you want to bankrupt the country. You want to take people's quality of life. You want to take food off of hardworking people and take more question. and more money. Here is a mother, mm -hmm. a mother with a child. Right. She wants that child to survive. Okay. So it's better for her to go to Cuba no, than in the United you know, some, States? You know, why don't and now you, what you're saying is we're you taking honest? money out? Don't, let's, listen, let's be honest here. If you are low income, we have Medicaid. Okay, let's stop the you know the scare tactics and everything else. If you don't have excuse the money me, that, and you're me, pregnant, that, that, it, you can go on Medicaid. Scare tactics? If your children... Wait, let me finish. If your children don't have insurance, we have children's insurance here in New Hampshire. We have Medicaid. Which, which now, by stop the way, the, the Republicans now, didn't want that. The Democrats no, had to that, get that's it. That's not true. So now that's you'll use true. this as an that's example. That's not true. What I'm trying to say is you want Medicaid expansion for people that are working, that can pay, that don't want it, that uh, you know, that are not rich, uh, deep pockets. Expansion. Let's subsidize it with Medicaid are expansion for people who cannot afford insurance. That's not true. The working poor. That's not true. The working the people poor. People who work two jobs and still must go to food pantries. You know, some I've been into some of the working poor that we call working poor that are on welfare. I, I just got my first big screen TV about three, four years ago. I, I you know, what I mean, my I finally just bought an S a five. I've always had a BlackBerry. Okay, you know, the cheap phone there I got for nothing when I joined my service. And I had it for four or five years. I see a lot of these people, okay, and I feel bad, but I think we need to educate and maybe keep thinking, letting people know we want to educate you. We want to teach you to fish. Because if we teach you to fish, you'll eat forever. Okay? If we keep feeding, like they say, don't feed the bears, right? If you keep feeding them, they're yeah. not going to want. Yeah, wait, wait. And now he is calling the people <laughs> no. who need food. <laughs> Bears. What so I'm don't saying feed is, the bears who are the people <laughs> in the state of New England. What Angela, I'm saying because is, they will never we should fish. Be, we should be they teaching people fish. to stand up. Take the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit we're, of happiness. We're in the Constitution. Does it say it is my right? requirement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the Constitution. Yeah. Does it say that I, who worked all my life, bought homes or other things for? Got sick, served got in the guns, military, have, have guns. guns, that's right. Guns and I have my Bible at home. Where guns. does it say? Where does it say? <laughs> guns and Bibles that's and right. fishing poles. That's right. And I have fishing, I have a boat. Yes. You got a boat. And I'll go and fishing. And you go in the back of your yard with your guns and you yeah, shoot at that's ducks. That's right. But where does it say? You shoot at ducks. But where does it say? I don't Do mind paying ducks taxes. In your backyard? No, no, I don't. I, Are there other, ducks in other your backyard? Other people, yes. Other people go duck hunting there. Yeah. I don't go, I've never gone hunting. I'd love to. But I had never gone. My uncle always asked me. Yeah. I just can't find I the time. I don't. I've, I, I have, come from a hunting family. I have shotguns I and I have other rifles and things like that. But I just never went. But anyways, where does it say that they should keep taxing and taxing me, okay? And my quality of life Who goes down. Is taxing you? The federal government. I got a question. Let the, let's, let's go over this one more the, time. You all in the gas 19, tax? We're twentieth in infant mortality. Should we do something? 
to bring infant mortality at least up to the par of Cuba. Yes, we should. And okay. I'll tell you what we does should do. Does this cost money? Can I give you a solution? Does, excuse me. Does this cost money? Does what cost so money? here you have a socialist country, Cuba. Right, and uh, we have right. socialist Democrats. Info okay. okay, all right. Infant mortality right. is lower mm -hmm. than the United States that has no insurance. Does Cuba have a drug problem like the United States? We have a bad, massive drug problem. Ro Mrs. Reagan used to say okay, all the time, excuse me. say no to drugs, say no to drugs. Excuse me. Excuse me. We have many young How women. How did you uh, get from an infant because a to lot, drugs? Because a lot of these pregnancies you're talking about are through drug, you know, uh, addicted people, okay, that we need to help them. We need to get them back into society working and everything else. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Okay? How do we get because from Cuba infant mortality to, to, because, to women on drugs? Because women on drugs. So are you we have, telling me we that have women, majority, a lot of women on drugs that are getting pregnant. The majority of women in the United States are on drugs no, no, and having children. No, nope. I'm saying on the infant the um, on the, on the pregnancies. Of poor I'm women saying, on, are on drugs and having babies. What I'm saying is a lot of poor women, okay, uh, that are on drugs addicted in guys, okay, that they they're having babies, they're not going for medical you know medical treatment and or anything. They're not being seen against, you're, until you're they're against, ready to have you're babies. You're against the woman having the right for her her own body. You're against abortions, is that correct? I'm, a, I'm against murdering a baby. Yes. Yeah, all right, okay. Yes. You're, you're against. This. I'm against now, murdering the, a baby. The question yes. I have: mm -hmm. Don't you think we should? You use the word educate mm -hmm. these women, right? But when the schools step in and saying, in our biology classes, we can educate both boys and girls regarding sexual behavior and how everything we need, we physically need to be works. We need to be it educated. was the Republican politicians mm -hmm. who said, no, hmm. we do not want Actually, we no, do that's not, not true. Actually, that's not true. Teaching our you know, children so that's about not true. sex. That's not true. What we did was we put in an option for the parents that make the decision to opt out. That's not true. We believe in to moms and dads out. to opt out. We believe so in, in other words, because they, so, moms and dads so need to make words, that decision, the not government. Would teach the children. You want government. You want to yes. Because we want the parents to make the decision. It was you who said you've got to educate all the yes. drug. People who are having babies. What don't you understand? How do you, how do you what, educate them? Be, what did they educate? Should in you the, educate in the them school, in school? In the school, in the but churches. But you just turned around and no. said you gave them something you to know, opt some, out You on know, it. listen, what we did was because many parents do educate their children. Government is, should not be responsible for every parent to raise their children. You believe in what the is village. What that got to do with it as educating kids about having sex because in school? Because some moms so, so, and dads believe it's their job, not the government, just like me. Okay. Now, no, my children... No, schools are your government. My, my youngest Correct? is 22 years old. Yes. I have five granddaughters, okay? Um, what I'm trying to... You know, they got pregnant later on in life, okay? My... my um, so you, you taught know, your children about sex? My daughter-in-laws. You yeah, taught my, your children yeah. about... I've talked to them in, in the home. You sat down? I sat down and talked to them about guys like me when I was young. Yes, <laughs> I did. I talked to my children... How to be careful and what to Guys watch for, like and you. why. And you, I told my daughters. Can you imagine? Hey. He's he's there trying to have an argument. Now mm. he's telling us <laughs> that hey. if if your daughter was his age when he was younger, don't 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 let him go out with you. Apparently, it's worked because uh, <laughs> two of my daughters, there are three of them actually. Got one, one has two. My like one you. daughter has two uh, girls. Her husband passed away. But anyways, my two daughters that were working, my daughter just graduated from college. She's 22. She started during her senior year, her master's, because I told my daughters, you have to get educated because, God forbid, if the marriage doesn't work, you don't want to go on to the system. You want to be able to stand up on your own and get a job and be educated. You know, we should be teaching you know, you know, Al, our girls and if, boys if, this year you know, to get if, educated. If we stay on... And this is something that Republicans do all the time. And and and, and what's that? This is the we're, we're bad bad this, people this as Republicans. This is the reason why, if you watch the show, you we're will bad, know bad people. that I jump in and sometimes don't let the individual finish mm -hmm. the sentence. As yes, he does. And the reason I do that is the Republican politicians, not the Republican voters. The Republican voters, uh, guess what? Thank you very much, because a lot vote Democrat. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right? Uh, now, the Republican, Democrat, and independent voters do not do what this 
Republican politician does, and so that is they don't, you start off a one sentence, which is a paragraph. It all mingles. And if you were writing a book, it, you'd, they'd flunk it you. It all because mingles you're together. To stop, and you're supposed to start up, but it you'll start all, on one thing because and you'll it, go to another Because thing. it all mingles together with the numbers that they're counting in our hospitals, okay, with mothers having babies, a lot of them are young mothers in big cities that are having children there. Either a lot of them have cocaine in the system, the babies, they have some type of drug coming in. The so DHA, Health and Human Services, has their, you know, uh, very busy. Not all. Why do you have to throw in something drugs. that I never said? Not all. I'm saying those numbers add to the United States numbers. I, I have to admit, you're blinded, won't admit, we have a drug problem in the country. Nancy Reagan was right. She kept saying all the time, just say no, no, no. It was in the schools. Nancy it was on TV. Nancy Reagan was right. Where have we been pushing? It didn't work then. That's, and that's it BS. Work that's now. a bunch of BS. That's a bunch. We're, yeah, it doesn't work. You know? And you guys, I know. Look, I look, I know. You know the, 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 you know the, the crying, bleeding heart for children, etc. Yet. The when children walk a thousand miles and cross our border, children cross our borders, we should go like this with open arms and say, come, if you have gone that far, all right, they're immigrants, mm -hmm. I understand, come, we're going to hold you. We're going to make sure that you're safe. If you're going to go back, we're going to make sure that you're safe. But you came all this distance, and you guys, you know what they have done? People... Re not, I can't say all Republicans, but I will say there are people, militias, that have gone down on, on the outskirts of some mm -hmm. obscure border crossing mm -hmm. and have turned these people back that just walked 30 miles over a hot desert, and those people have died. In fact, it got so bad that even the staunch Republican militias have stopped it. And that is because you cannot stop people, especially children, who need help from coming in. We mm -hmm. want them. We want them, huh? Right. Oh, we want them. So who pays for this here? Who pays for all these countries that send their children here? That's your, see, that's the Democrat. Who is paying? The people in your district? Are they rich? Can they afford to pay more taxes, you, your are people? Are you an Italian? Apparently you think you so Ital because they passed Italian? the gas. You're Italian? I'm Italian, yes. Wait, so, wait, wait, uh, how many generations? Um, um, Third generation, my grandmother came over from, uh, my great-grandmother came over from Italy. Okay, but she came over legally. Hey, I'm, I'm, third, she, I'm third generation She also. waited in line. She, waited she in came line. over legally. Okay, not, we cannot be the, let, let you know, use, the feed. Let us use Guatemala, because you brought something about, you know something? You, all, you brought up something about Why drugs. don't you take care of women in our country I'm give you a compliment. that are living in Can shelters? Can I give you a compliment? Yes, Can give me a compliment. compliment. I'm sure there's going right. to be a butt. Children. Okay. Yeah. How many in this country? Right. We'll use Guatemala as an example. Mm, yes. Charlie Rose. Ever mm -hmm. watch Charlie Rose? I, he interviews ago, people, yeah, all right? right? Talk to the president of Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Said to the president, what can we do, what can you do to stop the children from Guatemala coming into this country? Mm -hmm. He says, the first thing, you can do something because the problem that we're having here in Guatemala is drug wars fighting over who will have the drugs to send, guess where? To, to the US. United States. Oh, why did I bring so that up? These kids so you're saying I was walking, right then. Getting away mm -hmm. that have a problem because we use illegal mm -hmm. drugs, coming here for help, and you're turning around and sending them back. Uh, yes, I, we have to. We have no choice. You do not send children back. What we need to do you is do force that president to take care of his people. We need to force that president. You do not yeah, send but, children back. Uh, I have to disagree. I, you, you know, take some a child who who is a Lynn Mass right now is they got. I think Massachusetts got 969 kids. Those school districts are so pissed off right now because their cost has gone up and there's no money following the kid, none whatsoever. And now is you have to hire. No money following it because the Republicans no, will not that, add no, money to that's the funds. Not. When do we say enough is enough? When do we say stay out of the taxpayers' pockets? When do we well, say, I'll, I'll, how come you're not, how come? I'll, I'll tell you Can I ask you? What? I'll tell you. You have homeless shelters. William, how come you never go over there Mr. and fight for them people to get housing? William sat right there mm -hmm. and said, 
When is enough is enough? That's right. How I'm, far should we go? When, and you know my I'm answer was. I'm not even going to answer that. I'm you saying. Know what my answer was your answer is to give him, away the banks. Bill O'Brien. No, no. Yeah, what's said, your answer? You know when it stops? When? When the children stop coming. That's we never going to happen. The children. That's never going to happen. Children. Third, third world countries will continue to pass off. I'm 57 years All right, old. Okay. When you How were, old are you? When you were 12 years old. How old are you? When you were 12 How old years are you? old. Let's get that on the table. 57 years old. He's lying. <laughs> No, uh, yeah. There's a difference. We, you reach a certain age, yeah. we don't tell you. When you were 12 years old, walk 1,200 miles in your lifetime? Have I? Uh, well, I probably, I don't know how many miles I walked while as a Marine for 22 years, but well, I did a lot of... Well, we're talking children. Did I? Did you um, ever walk a desert? I honestly don't think those... Have you ever seen people I don't think die? Those, I think that is a bunch of BS. I don't think them children did walk through the mountainous area. I think they've been, but the coyotes... The people brought the them in. They took money the from bomb. moms and dads or from orphanage. They cleaned out their orphanages. Uh, or, and I may be saying the word wrong. Um, orphanages. Orphanages. Yeah. Uh, they cleaned them out, and then they made money off of these children. We should be bringing these children to the president's compound in Guatemala and say, take care of these children. It's not America's job to be the saviors for everybody. We, how come you're not going to the women's shelter, fighting for them to money for them to go to um, into apartments and stuff excuse with their me, children? Excuse, how come excuse Democrats me. aren't? I, I how come I don't hear I this? I won't get into. But I'm saying, how come Democrats look, aren't fighting? I, no, no. I, I look. My wife, who is a, a very staunch mm. pro women, we do a lot. Okay. And to to help. Can I do women a Google search on trouble, your family name? But I not, don't. Yeah, I will not talk for my wife, okay. and I also will not talk about what we do because what, how we feel is what we do is private. I'm not looking. Okay. We're not looking. All right, for no, a pat on I the understand. Back. But what All I'm right. saying is, where I are the? I just donated where? a painting okay. for a lady who needs help to to auction it off. All right. Okay, I she understand. She will be home. Okay, you are so, one of the very far and few between. Okay, that do this. Okay, because I mean, it's like myself working with homeless veterans. I've been in Harbor Homes here in Nashua. I've been to the Delaney's House. I've been to the um, homeless shelter in um, Manchester. I've been to Liberty House. I've raised hell, outspoken on these issues. You know that. I've been to the floor of the house on uh, the support. I fought on the budget that was cut here in Nashua. Yeah, right. Yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, you you, you are where, you are a veteran, etc. But what I'm trying to say is, where is the but Democrats you, fighting for people Curry, in our own country? Excuse me. It, well, hold on a second. Hold on. A to second. take care of our own. It's Christmas Eve. Somebody knocks on the door. A mother with three children. This is my child, and these are two other children. Are you going to let her? Different her, ball her game. In? Are you going to close the door? That, I'm going to open that door and help her and uh, get, help her get her, give her a hand yeah, up. So you're going to I'm going to help and give her a hand right. up. I'm going to help you're try to find her apartment. You're not going to stand at the border I, with a gun and say. Don't come here. Totally in. different. Go back. Totally different. No, blood. it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Because it is, it is illegal. Christmas. You know, when, a, when a mother and three children, four children, get into immigrants. the United States Ill, because breaking, they are protected. What don't you understand? They're breaking into our country. What don't you understand? They're being coyotes are making thousands of dollars off of these kids. Bringing them into our country. Not only that, Rick Perry, who sent the National what Guard about, to the border. You, you, will you, you know, hear me for a second? Let me finish. Uh, Rick Perry t sent National Guard to the border. He was here in New Hampshire. He said 20% of them coming over are children. The rest are gang members, people out of prisons, tattoos, everything else. The MS-13, Guatemala, and different other groups that are coming and slipping through. We don't know where they're at. They're going off. How do we know ISSA? And other organizations, uh, terrorists, are not slipping through the border. Let's wake up. we got to protect no, our border. Well, uh, uh, it is well, our duty okay. to you, protect. Uh, as I have said earlier, the only reason why I interrupt you is mm -hmm. you from jump from da-da-da-da-da. We're was talking I, about children. And drugs and are involved with it. all of a sudden, it. we're an ISIL. You proved my point. All right. You, we're talking because about children, it's a ricochet and now it's ISIL. You, because it's a ricochet effect right. on what happens. Would you like to talk about national Look who's issues. calling me right now, the Secretary You're of State. You're an attorney. You're okay. an attorney. It's Checking an attorney. up on you. You are a... Who's that? Secretary of State. Who? Huh? It's uh, Gardner's office. Yeah. But I'll get it out. I after. will be up there yeah. tomorrow. For what? 
because uh, they might be calling you uh, because they've called me today to ask me if I'd go up and be one of the counters. Oh, well, I wish I'd known into... because i am already got plans. i got a family reunion tomorrow, and then okay. I'm going to the Cape tomorrow night. All right, okay. Then i got a, a but wake you, you, There are two Ringe. Republican primaries that are, and, and we're changing the subject. He's talking about mm -hmm. Bill God, now the Secretary of State, calling him. He called, his office called me early and asked if I'd be one of the counters because there were two races that was so close. One was, by the way, one was uh, tied. Wow, Republican where was that? Republican or Republican. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know the one in Bedford, uh, Emily O'Neill, uh, Lieutenant of National Guard, she lost by, I think, uh, six votes. So that's probably one of, the, one of the, one of the mm -hmm. votes. Yeah. You know. D so I'm a Democrat. You know, Sharon Carson, uh, Senator Sharon Carson, her daughter were. Uh, Ran in my district, she lost by eight votes. Oh, really? Yeah, so there's going to be, she requested a, um, a recount. recount also. Okay, well, it could be yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just can't make it. I can go there Monday. I just can't make it this now, weekend. I think by law. Uh, and, They're uh, supposed to request today by the, Friday. What? By law, they have to request by Friday today. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. You know, for the recount. But they have to do it tomorrow because by law, there has to be 45 That's right. days. You know why? Uh, printing up ba ballots. But why? Why, why did print up ballots? Why did the Democrats, why did I have to fight them in New Hampshire uh, to comply with the federal law uh, a few years ago? You just voted against with us there. Why did we do that for 45 days here in New Hampshire? I don't know. Tell I'm going to tell you why. Because the veterans that are overseas need time to get the ballots. There was a Veterans Act that was passed in Washington, D.C. that said that you have 45 days to get them ballots out, yeah. absentees to the veterans. Yeah. That was the big issue because veterans uh, ballots well, around the country I, I were not look, being counted. I don't counted. think anybody's arguing about no, that. No, I know, but that's. I'm think, trying to tell you that's what the 45 and, and days. I, and well, I, I don't, especially up here in New Hampshire. Let's face it, uh, we have probably one of the better Secretary of State. Oh, he's a great guy. He's even a Democrat. He's no, a good guy. No, I, you know, you I know? didn't even know yeah, he, he was is, a Democrat. He's he, a Democrat. He's Bill God, the most uh, honest person, people I've ever he's met. He's a in my historian. Life. He's unbelievable. And he, in fact, we're going to do some mm -hmm. history with him. Yeah, he's a, yeah. he is a great guy, uh, Bill God. Yeah, and he's going to come. He's back the longest serving uh, Secretary of State, also. And not only that is, it's so interesting. It, it's I've been in there, and a Republican had come mm -hmm. out, and I had gone in. Uh, to talk to him, and he's one of those individuals where uh, whatever you say to him mm -hmm. stays with him. Right. No, I, I understand. Both Republicans yeah, and guy. Democrats. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, we're, right. we're so lucky. But mm -hmm. anyway, I'm sure but anyways, that's let's get back you, to the... you are a prominent Republican, mm -hmm. so his office was probably calling you, and, right. and the phone just rang, mm -hmm. ask if you would be one of the counters. Right. And I am a, mm -hmm. a semi- Known they Democrat. Don't, they don't know you. They felt bad. I might have dropped a name up there that you were a nice guy or something. That's probably why. You know? they, they couldn't find anybody else. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they, they got me, and then they really couldn't yeah. find someone else, and they got you. Yeah, all there right, you all go. Right. But yeah, no, I'll I already, be up there tomorrow morning, I, Saturday. Yeah, I already told my wife there, because we have a reunion tomorrow, and then I said from after the reunion in Maine, uh, we're going to take off, go to the Cape. I'm going to take her to dinner down ah, at Hyannis. Good for you. You know what I mean? So good we're going to. You. you just gotta, had an anniversary. Yes, we did. So I got to go do family things with the wife since I've been out every night in different functions and stuff. She doesn't go. She stays. Oh, no, she go. No, she was with me tired. last night. She works. She hard. was with me this morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, for the we, matter of fact, we had a unity breakfast where all the Republicans, uh, Walt Havenstein, Andrew Hemingway, we all come together. Had a breakfast. We all motivational speeches. I like Andrew. Andrew's a good guy. Yeah. yeah well, and Walt Havenstein is our uh, candidate now. Great guy. I see some of the BS already with uh, the Governor Hassan already attacking the guy and everything else. You know, instead of it's well, a shame. Uh, you know? I was on a I was on a, a committee. I'm in Commerce, as you mm -hmm. know, and right. she was head of Commerce mm -hmm. in the Senate. Right. So we had a joint House mm -hmm. Senate. Yeah regarding FRM, and mm -hmm. of the largest Ponzi scheme in the state. She ran the committee, right. obviously. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I've worked with her. I'll tell you what, right. she's tough. Oh, really are you tough. talking about the governor? Yes. Oh, she and is she's tough. She's fought and got an LLC and tax, a campground tax. Oh, she's, she's fair. fair. Did she get an LLC tax passed? Did yeah, she get a campground you know, tax passed? No, I, got a, I got a question to yeah. ask you. Yeah. She's fair. Explain right there to the camera what mm -hmm. this tax was for this campgrounds. She, okay, this was for people that bring their own food, their own tent, their own camper to a campground. Now, the, the owners of the campground are already paying property tax. 
she was taxing their money to, um, you know, that they paid for, you know, camping. Okay, so let me see if I've got this straight. Uh, the campgrounds own the land. Yes, they pay taxes for the land, and, and they the pay business tax. Come o come up, and they say for nothing, correct? No, no, they pay for the campground. Let's say they pay a hundred dollars. They pay for the yes. So, the campground people who lease their property, all mm -hmm. right, there's no tax for them. They have a tax free. No, they have a um, there is. Well, I don't know property what, tax. Everybody right, pays property right, tax. Right for the for the so land. So they have a tax free. They open their land up to go camp. Right, okay. but they're paid. They're, they're paid, yes. So they're tax free. There's they're, no taxes right. for them. We don't have a sales tax. We don't. We don't. So there's have. no taxes right. for them. But they're bringing That's their not own. A sales they're tax. bringing their own bed. They're bringing their own food. They're bringing their own camper or and, whatever. And the, Why they're paying taxes and, and, on the, and the if it's a camper? And the individual who owns the property is making money. Right. So they okay. Are tax the same thing with renters. Free, the same thing with rental tax properties. Free, okay. It, so this is the only group in the state of New Hampshire that can do business tax free. Well, is that fair? If I rent, I don't know. If I rent you, out my you house, ask, ask them. if I rent out my house, am I required to pay a tax because yes, that money? Yes, you are. Uh huh. Yes, you are. What tax? No. What yes, tax? Yes, you are. You How? ought to pay because How? because you. Wait, I no are, not somebody's. Paying you. Yeah, but they're paying me. But if I'm making money to pay and, my and, mortgage, and if, you don't, if I'm not about and, and, and my mortgage. And if you mortgage, don't register that, that's illegal. So the campground people who own property have people come up and pay money to stay on their property. They are tax free. So, question if you had a business, would you like your business to be tax free? Probably. No. But he's complaining because. The governor comes along and says, wait a minute, everybody's got to pay their fair share. So a tax goes these, on where there was no tax, and the Republicans did what? These are tourists and that are coming what? in. These are tourists that are coming into our state that are low, that can't afford, pretty much, that, you know, low-income people, that really can't afford to go to the hotels. They come with their tents. They come with their they own come food. With their tents. They come That's with right. Their RVs, they some some come with sakes. the RVs, but those ones with the RVs are spending money in our restaurants, and our gas stations. And there are, and they're shopping in our stores. Look, What's so, wrong with you? So why would minute. you want to so, scare people away? Well, it's sort of like <laughs> you know, if somebody comes up to New Hampshire mm -hmm. and I take money to let people stay on my property, okay, I am earning money which now is undeclared. What's fascinating about that is, are they paying federal tax on that money? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's income. They would have to. I mean, right. It's income, well, yes. Wait, they pay well, federal. Well, wait, wait, you know, that, well, it's income. So it's income here in right. New Hampshire, but there's no tax. Right. It's, it's income. the only business but see, now, in the state of New Hampshire that can do business and there's no tax. But isn't there a BET or a BPT tax nope. for a business here and what they have for property and what they have Let's change. Uh, for other stuff there? Let's change. Huh? ISIL. What's ISIL? You mean ISIS? ISIS? What, who's ISIS, that? ISIS, ISIL, is, yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Is. Awful people. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> they are. If it was up to me, I'd turn that into a parking lot in a gas station. If You know, that's my Marine mentality. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's right. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Loves wars. <laughs> Remember, ladies and gentlemen, you know some, this is hey, a Republican politician. You know, let's turn it into a parking hey, lot. Tell you what. Let me let's let's tell the facts here. Most people don't really well, understand. Why two trillion dollars? If you never served in the military, okay, and never traveled around the world, I've been to Turkey, I've been to Azerbaijan, I've been to Saudi Arabia, I served in Desert Storm, I've been to uh, Bahrain. Th these terrorists, irregardless of matter what we do, want to kill us. I don't care who, what you think, what you, these religious fanatics want us dead. No matter what we do, who we help, they want us dead. We need to take the war to them before they get in our country and we have a nine, another 9-11. I, I hate to say it. We have to take it to them on their shores, not ours. Well, the Republicans hate President Obama so much. No, I don't, you know, I don't hate President this, this Obama. That's very, not true. This is interesting. You know, that's a harsh word to use there. This, I, I don't hate the president. This, this is a, that's not true. You know, why I actually did you met, get, to get, get into the Oval Office and I didn't? That's right, because I don't hate... I, I have been in the White House. I'm the only state rep in the country that was invited to a White House forum, okay, on licensing and credentialing for military 
uh, people that when they downsize, Obama's cutting us big time, um, like um, Carter did years ago and Clinton did. And then we have to rebuild to protect our country, okay, when we get a Republican ex president. Ex excuse, ex excuse me. We spend more money on military than China, uh, the, uh, uh, China, Russia, and England. Okay, now. So we spend more money than those three countries. We don't have to spend that much we money. We don't have to, huh? Tell you what, has anyone ever attacked our shores? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay, we're going, you're talking um, country, European countries years 9 -11. ago. 9-11? Okay. Yeah, 9-11, true, yeah. Uh, they came into uh, aircraft. Okay, you know when they um, no, but they haven't come they to our ship. They haven't, yeah, they, they the aircraft blew they up. They learned how to fly. They learned planes how to fly here planes. In the United States. But it was yeah, they haven't come on our shores with ships and uh, fighting us on the streets like in other countries. Okay, okay? Good point. So what I'm trying to say is because of our military, okay, and being a strong country that we are, we don't have to worry like other countries do that somebody's coming in and uh, doing us. Uh, into in, well, into know, their country I, I, I think and that, try to take over. I think that, that this is it's very, a deterrent. I think this is very good that, that you will make that point. It's true. And I'm not sure if you mean wherever they are, we're just going to turn it into a parking lot, which means no. war. No. Well, you know something. So I think the Democrats don't want war. No. The Republican. Because politicians who happens to be a military person the Democrats wants would, to kill them. No, I, you're I damn right. That. You're damn right I, I want to kill them. That. I These people that. are vicious. Oh, yeah. They Animals. will not think twice about Animals. trying to infiltrate into our country and then cause hey, ha, you know, havoc here. We have to take the fight to them. Well, well yeah. Have, did you ever serve yeah. in the military? That, no, I, no, I didn't. Okay, so I, you have no clue then. All right, thank you. Let's move on to something else no. and you understand. I, I, what has that got to do with I ain't serving a Be, military? Because you're so like, I have no clue. Because you're like a, mon me, was, a Monday morning quarterback. 13 years ago, I was sitting on my computer you're, when somebody yeah. crashed into the but you, But what I'm the, saying the, the is you're... Towers. Don't what, worry, I, I'm American. What I'm saying is you're like a Monday morning quarterback. Oh, no, let's not go there. Oh, no. Well, let's wait till they yes. come. Let's wait till they come and get I'll us. I'll tell you what. I don't want to mm -hmm. fight a war. I let's don't want to turn anything into a you, parking lot. But I certainly would like the government, by the way, mm -hmm. it was Bush no. who went into mm -hmm. Iran, excuse me, Iraq. Do you know why we went into it Iraq? It is Iraq that's you know, being infiltrated by Do you by know why we went Israel. into Iraq? Yes, and Iraq will not fight. Do you know so what why? Do, what do we do? Do you we know why we up? went into Iraq? Do you even know? Why we went why into Iraq? Why we went into Iraq, yes. To get rid of? To get rid of Saddam. But why? Why? Couple of few reasons. People. He was killing people. The oil How many for people fuel. are dying now? Wait, the oil for fuel. That is a group. How many people are dying because now? Because the we armed Obama More? armed. Listen to me now. I'm gonna tell you a fact. Obama armed these people to fight in Syria, right? Did we arm them? Did we help them people over there in uh, other European countries? NATO come. Uh, well, help act, actually, um, Issa act, grew. actually, Issa is, actually, actually, uh, whatever said it is, I we said. did not. Well, I'm hearing we the did. The president said I'm, we. I'm hearing we did. Found the people. I'm hearing we did arm them. They're using American uh, arms to fight in Iraq. Yeah, when they went to Iraq, what they did is they went in. They 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 went in and they. They bombed a, a bank, a right. quarter million out they of it. Took they the took the money. All That's the right. Iraqi yes. stuff, right. which we had given. They them. put out a law that if you have a weapon, uh, you, you could be killed. You have to turn your weapons in. Didn't Hitler do that? Make everyone turn their weapons in. What are you talking huh? about? Oh, that's right. You probably don't know about that stuff. But don't worry about. It. You're not a military guy. You don't understand. But anyway, say hey, let's get back to this uh, I, I, governor's I, I, race. And I understand, as a military person, you'd want boots on the ground. You want to fight like no, hell. no. I'm sorry, I, I don't. don't want war. You know something? And, and you talk about countries I don't. taking care of themselves. Guess what? We armed Iraq. Do you? We put. We taught them. You fight the war. Mm -hmm. We'll help Do you. Know you know I said? That's it. You no know, boots on the ground. You know, I'm, I'm the former chairman of state and federal relations, right? I don't you know. know are you? I am. I'm telling you, I am. Factual. Okay, now I I track. Yeah, I still rock. Do you do you see you see what's going on when you're in Europe with these religious fanatics, these no, Islam, what? that they want um, Sharia law, that they're uh, putting up stuff on the walls over there. They want that going on in uh, Europe. What Sharia law? Are you familiar with oh, Sharia yeah, law? Oh yeah, yeah. Are you yeah, seeing yeah. what's going yeah, on yeah, there? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
you know, this is it's a, the same you, way. You, it's everywhere. You know, it's some, the same no, but the thing is, we have to stop it. Yes. You know, the United States, we're a republic. Uh, we're a nation of laws, American laws, well, not we, Sharia we, laws. We have uh, a reporter from New Hampshire beheaded That's right. live. You know, uh, from ISIS. I wish I could go over there. Uh, guess what? We will fight. Mm -hmm. We yeah. will go. I think we need but to go. But I think what the president has done is he said, "Whoa, hold on a second. Uh, yeah, he may let have a plan us, now. Let us do this on a on a way we're not going to get a get get in a quagmire." Mm -hmm. right. And it's really interesting to see how many people want us to fight, 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 and how he'll go. Well, wait a oh, second. No, actually, let us not. You're not they, being you honest. Know he they, said he didn't have a plan. They've already done over 200 Saudis. You, they've already bombed right. the hell out of ISIL. We got three minutes yeah. left. Okay, you know something? He actually said he didn't have a plan. Do you remember that? And then, of course, Hillary Clinton. What does it matter? You know what I'm saying? What does it matter? And what are you talking about four, when it doesn't matter? The, those what, do you, four what did she say that? What did she say she that? She said it after See, when she was being... You will when she, do this. <laughs> this is what the Republicans do. It's fact. Is what it, <laughs> because I have to get you to bring... Oh, I have to get you to bring you, the facts up. You know why up. there's only shows like this? The because only nobody way else has knowledgeable like you. Nobody else will. I yeah. couldn't get another person other than you. <laughs> and they couldn't find anyone yeah. who wanted to. And by the way, I got... A lot of problems from the Democrats because they don't like me having you or Bill O'Brien on. You, and I said that you come and sit here and you can talk to us. Two minutes left. We, How can people get in touch with you? www.albaldesaro.com or you can call me on my phone at 425 6997. Stop by my house in Londonderry. Address 41 Hall Road, Londonderry. Yeah, I, I, I believe you're not going to do it unless you I, I have people come to my oh, house all and, the time. I sit by, and talk to way, when he, I'm home. He fixes his house. He has a, a a cookout. And you would think that the person, the Democrat, <laughs> who, who, yeah. who, who, you know, we're, we're partners over here, he would invite me. Did he? No. And you want to know why? I didn't want because nobody to pick on you. Republicans, and he didn't want to see me there with all the Republicans because the Republicans would be mad I at had, you. Andrew Hemingway was there, uh, Ginter was there, Frank Ginter, uh, quite a few. Uh, I, had old, I had over 100 Republicans that were there, candidates and state reps. And no and no Democrats. No Democrats, no. no. And, and not no. even me? No. Not the Democrat you. that the no. Republicans kind of like. I thought about it, but you know, I didn't want people to focus on picking on you. I wanted them to focus on Republican issues. As if I issues. couldn't take care of myself. Yeah, so you're on uh, I'd Facebook, have to is that I'd correct? Have, yes, I'm on Facebook also. I have a re-elect uh, Al Baldus on Facebook. And you, by the way, and over in Londonderry were the top vote-getter? I was the top vote-getter. The next one below me, number two out of ten people, was uh, 300 votes below me. I was a top vote-getter in the Democrats, but in the Republican side, every single Republican beat us. Even the person, the low Republican, this is Republican voter had more votes than I had. And that's mm -hmm. because it's yeah. only a, we, mm -hmm. we didn't, we had no, there was, there well, was no contest here. You know, a lot of Democrats are pissed off about losing their health insurance and other stuff. So that's another topic and another show. Another topic. Yeah. But, but my then, name is Ken Gidge. You can get me on Facebook. I'm there. And uh, also, uh, you can go to Gidge World or you can go to Gidge 3D Art. Uh, also, you can get me area code 603-864-9332. And if you would like to make a comment about this show, you can call 603-864-9332. We got 27 seconds. 27 seconds. Hey, I, can well, you sell some odds so I can get to finish my deck? Help me wait? out here because it's Christmas is coming. Christmas can you help me out? Yeah. Am I, I, I invited yeah. to your Christmas party? <laughs> All right. I, am, I don't have any friends with the Republicans. Uh -huh. Yet, the are, Republicans are on all the time. That's right. And you didn't donate anything to my campaign. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.